Hello everyone, this is Nikki Rowland and today I have a layout for Lottie Loves Paper. I'm using the Sweet Rush collection by Vicky Bootin um, and I am fussy cutting this beautiful sheet of flowers. Look how beautiful those flowers are. So I've fussy cut a whole load of those out and I've also pinched the edges of all the petals um, to give each flower some dimension. And I'm not quite sure what I'm going to do with them so I spent a little bit of time uh, fiddling around um, working it out. I was thinking maybe a big curve, maybe um, you know, a line going down one side of the layout or across the layout. Um, but, um, but, uh, yeah, it's, uh, I, I just thought I would play around with a few different arrangements and see uh, what I fancied. So you can see me doing that here. Um, in the end, I decide upon a circle right in the middle of the layout. So you will see me do that in just a moment. And I've pulled out some distress oxides because um, I really loved the blue background that the flowers are on um, in the first place. So I thought I would recreate that using um, a mixture of colors. So I've got a dark blue and a lighter blue. Um, and I thought I would mix the two together and see what um, what it looks like. So, um, so yeah, as I say, you can see that I'm still fiddling around. What should I do with these flowers? Um, like I said, I end up with a big circle in the middle in the end. <laughs> um, so there we go. We're just going to go for it. Just going to go for a circle and see what happens. So I'm just kind of freehand drawing this circle. Um, I could have used a compass maybe and uh, created a, a circle. Um, and um, yeah. Uh, just seeing how that looks. I don't know how big the circle needs to be at this point, so I just created that initial circle, a little bit wonky, but not, not really a problem, um, and um, decided that therefore I need definitely need some more colour there. Um, you can see that it doesn't look like it's coming out that well. You know, I can really see the circles from the ink applicator tool. Um, perhaps the oxides would be better if they were on smooth cardstock as opposed to on textured, um, but I like the way that the texture looks um, under the ink because you can see it really kind of picks out the grain and you can, when, when you have a area that's not so intensely inked, you can really see that grain and I just really like that effect. But when I look at ink applied to a page like this, I think it looks a bit rubbish um, because you can see all the marks and it's not smoothly applied. Um, however, I always feel that mixed media kind of comes into its own once other items are placed on top. So I would never create a layout that just has this big area of mixed media like that um, on show. Um, I would then put things on top of that and then um, that would generally look better. So that's kind of the aim I'm going for. I'm not overly worried about how it's looking at this point. Um, you can see I've added some splatters. So I've used the same two colors of Distress Oxides to add splatters, just mix them with water and a paintbrush and flicked. Um, and then um, I have uh, just got my black um, ink, um, what is it called? Black paint shaker. Um, and I've splattered black paint all over the layout as well. Um, I really like the dark tones of the blue and the black together with those amazing bright pops of pink and yellow flowers. They're just, I think it's just a fabulous combination. Um, so you can see that now things are dry and I'm just going to um, start sticking all of my flowers in place. Um, and I've got two photos to use today. Um, so this is the reason I'm using flowers in the background because my flowers, I have beautiful flowers on my photo. So we went to a, uh, we went for afternoon tea um, and um, with my daughter, for my daughter's birthday, she had a broken arm. So she wasn't able to do the, um, the activities that she wanted to do for her birthday. So instead I took her and three friends to um, afternoon tea at a lovely little tea shop. Um, and uh, they have this fabulous um, wall um, covered in, it's actually just wallpaper, but it looks really, really realistic. It look, looks as though we are standing, they are standing against a wall of flowers, but actually it is just wallpaper. Um, but it's so awesome. I was like, right, time for photos. Um, so, um, so yeah, so uh, that's why I thought I would go with the whole floral theme um, and uh, fussy cut out all those beautiful Vicky Bootin flowers. Um, I've also fussy cut a few of the beautiful ferns from the Speciality paper. It's um, it's actually Speciality vellum and it's kind of like, I don't know, would you say it was silver or gold? I'm not quite sure. It's a bit of, bit of a mixture. Maybe it's a platinum. Um, I'm not sure what colour it is officially, but it is beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. So I fussy cut a number of those out. So I think I've got four fussy cut out um, and I'm just going to place those um, 
at uh, a couple of points on the layout. So I wanted to create a cluster around the bottom left corner of the photos. Um, I've got my title that says Good Vibes. That's a piece of ephemera from the Vicky Boutin um, Sweet Rush ephemera. Um, does, anyone, does anyone else want to call it Sugar Rush? Um, I think that comes from, I keep calling it Sugar Rush. Uh, I think it's from a film called Wreck-It Ralph. Do you know that one? Disney one. Um, and um, the game in that, that the, the Vanellope is in, is called Sugar Rush, I think. So I keep, wanting, I keep getting very mixed up between Sugar Rush and Sweet Rush. So I think this collection is called Sugar Rush. No, Sweet Rush. <laughs> See, I just can't get it straight in my head. Um, but anyway, um, I love it, and uh, whether it's sugar or sweet, um, I, I love it. Um, it's really lovely, fun, bright, colourful collection, what's not to like. So um, I've got um, the big flowers in the background, I've got the two set areas where the ferns are, so one um, bottom left and one top right. Um, at the top right corner of the photo, I've added a big butterfly as well. I loved that big butterfly, that's from the um, ephemera from... Sweet Rush, not Sugar Rush. Um, and uh, I've also got that lovely um, bunting, yellow bunting down the bottom that I've um, added in. Um, and um, that's from the ephemera too. And to the left of the photos, I've got a um, bottle of soda and a glass of lemonade. Um, and then I'm adding in a couple of cupcakes from the Bramble Fox uh, Cupcakes um, set. Um, and I've also got a little teacup that says tea um, in black. Um, so I'm just adding all of those. It all goes well. We had we had tea and we had cupcakes, so it was all good. Um, and um, yeah, now I'm just going to also add some of these beautiful layered hearts. So layered hearts have my heart. I've always loved layered hearts. So to have a whole pack of them pre-made is beautiful. I don't know if we've had pre-made uh, layered hearts before. I think must must have done in some other collections. Um, I know I've certainly made them myself, but uh, these are just really pretty. They're very small, which is lovely. Normally when I make layered hearts, they're quite big because I use my metal dies. So it's nice to have the smaller version of something like this. Um, and they're already pre-made, so that's awesome. And they have a vellum layer on the, on the top layer too. So they have a vellum layer and then two other uh, cardstock layers. They're lovely and they're sewn together with machine stitching in the middle um, so they, you, you can bend them up um, and they can have lots of lovely dimension on either side because they're not stuck stuck down. So I really rate those as embellishments and love those. Picked out the right colours of course um, and now I'm just adding a few of the little um, stickers. I've got little label stickers. I just wanted to raise them on foam pads so um, I'm not worried that uh, they aren't um, uh, I, you know, I'm not worried that they're stickers. I'm still going to raise them on foam pads is what I'm trying to say. So I've picked out Friends, Life is a Journey and For the Record. And I'm just doing some journaling over on the right hand side um, to say what we were doing and um, including details like the place and the date as well. Um, so, um, so yeah, I'm getting there now. I'm nearly done. I've added um, uh, some an arrow sticker at the top. Um, that's from the Vicky Boutin stickers. And now I'm just going to add a few sequins as well. So I've pulled out, um, I think it's a Valentine's kit, uh, set of sequins from Spiegel Mum Scraps. Kiss and Tell, it might be called. It's got hearts in it, but I didn't use the hearts. It's also got black and white uh, spotty sequins in and they're just gorgeous and they just go with everything so um, I've got black and white spots on the layered hearts um, so yeah so they went they tied in really nicely so just going to add a whole bunch of those um, I've got some at the top some at the bottom and some over to the right hand side um, so uh, yeah they're looking really really lovely um, yeah I'm just getting all those stuck down now with some glossy accents um, but, uh, and I've got my little cupcakes in place and my little teacup in place. Uh, I've got lots of splatters in the background already. Um, and um, yeah, just to finally sticking down my sequins um, and then I'm pretty much done. So I really have um, loved working with this collection. Uh, this is the first layout I've made using it and um, it's just so vibrant and pretty and uh, so gorgeous. Um, totally love the colours and the brightness and the fun, fun feel of this collection. So definitely check it out um, at Lossy Loves Paper. Um, just going to finish off now with some white splatters. Um, I've got my paint shaker there, but I've decided to use a paintbrush because I wanted some finer splatters because I've got big splatters in the background, but I thought I'd have some fine white splatters over the embellishments. Um, so yeah, and that is my layout complete. So 
thank you very much for joining me today. I hope you have enjoyed seeing this day out come together. Um, it was great fun to make. Um, and uh, yeah, don't forget to check out the Vicky Boutin Sweet Rush, not Sugar Rush, Sweet Rush collection in the Lottie Loves Paper shop. Thank you so much for joining me. That was Nikki Rowland for Lottie Loves Paper.